Okay, this is just a real quick video demoing doing a uh, updatable dashboard for the part table. Uh, I'm going to start out with the query. And just call it part update. Funny, um, I didn't realize that already existed. I'll make a new one. That might actually be a good demo. I don't know, that's in the uh, demo database. Um, part update test. Okay, new one. Uh, let's see, I'm going to make it updatable. I'm going to grab the part table. I'm gonna grab a couple fields out of here. Doesn't really matter at this point what fields I'm grabbing. I'm going to want to change um, descriptions and classes. Alright, update processing. So the business object part. Check the little box. Scroll down here to make sure that everything is filled in. Regenerate the BPM directive. I will make a comment about this screen. Um, if you were updating, like for example, part plant, uh, you need to include part and you need to include part plant. Um, and also on your required things, you need to have expressions filled in. Easiest way to get the expressions filled in is by actually just including them as display items in your query. Okay, so I have that taken care of. Now we'll go into uh, uh, dashboard maintenance. Dashboard, sorry. New dashboard update test. test a new query bring that in go to my properties on the query it is updatable I'm going to prompt for those two hit OK might as well just pull this alright there's my list. Um, this does need to be deployed to make it updatable. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to deploy the dashboard, deploy the smart client application. And what I tend to do on these is I just add them as my favorites, especially in this example because I'm updating all the parts. I don't want anybody just going and updating all the parts. I want them to come to me. Um, so add it as a favorite item and deploy it. Now uh, I can come into here, dashboards assembly, dashboard assemblies. Here's my dashboard. And I'll copy this to Excel just for fun. And let's break some classes. Make all those that. Copy this in. And do a paste update. All right, now those parts have been had their 
class changed. 